Hello everyone, and welcome to this Let's Play slash walkthrough of Fester's Quest for the NES by M. Hauser. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Let's get into it. The storyline of this game. Well, you'll see Fester sitting here on his lawn chair in his little birthday cone hat. And apparently some aliens decide to come to Earth. These evil aliens decide to attack us and take Gomez. And it's your job as Fester to find Gomez and save the world from these evil aliens. Here's the cut screen to the beginning intro. And it's probably the only good thing about this game. Um, it's got the... The music's kind of catchy and the flashing. It's interesting enough. I'm going to go to the menu system here so you can understand the menu system for the game because this is a walkthrough too. Alright, well there's one, two, three, nine, nine, men nine items. There's a gun and a whip, the two weapons you can use. And you get two items to power them up. The blue gun sign, it just says gun, and then the blue whip powers them down. And I think it's pink. I, it looks like pink to me. The pink ones power them um, down. The blue ones power them up. And then there's the clues, which every boss gives you a clue. There's five boss, five clues, and then there's your health bar. All right, I'm gonna get into it. This first area is uh, I'm, you're gonna see me. I've already got an upgraded gun because I just cut that out. But this is the area you need to upgrade at. You just go back and forth, left to right here, and just get all the upgrades you can. Like look for guns, keys, uh, light bulb. See, that's that's an unupgrade. That's why I skipped it. All right, and there's cash there. That's money. You use that to buy health. Um, you can do that at the hot dog stands. Now these little head headless or er, bodyless aliens, they shoot out these little bugs. And if you get hit by them, you get slowed. And the only way to stop that slow is to use one of your items, a vice grip. So the items come in handy um, from time to time with things like that. Um, I'm going to start off by going down. Um, you start at that one spot and you go south. And then you come back up here. There's a hot dog stand. And if you need a health, like you get hit, you go up and use your money and buy health. Now I'm going to go left here, and this is where you get the first two items of the game. You get the uh, TNT from Pugsley, but first you have to equip the key. Alright, you'll see me do it right here. I hit start, I hit equip the key, and then I hit B up at the door, and it opens and it shows you the little cut screen. So, I'll show you how to do it one time. Well, I already had it equipped, so that was one. I didn't get to show you that time, I'll show you the next time. Well, she'll give you the vice grips. Really simple. The first two part of this game is just the first 30 seconds of this game is just collecting items. So, uh, I kind of describe this game as more of a puzzle slash maze game than anything because there's not that great of fighting in it. But you go down in the sewers and you have to use a bulb. You have to use a light bulb to light up the sewers. It's, it's kind of self-explanatory um, in a way. When you play the game, you'll understand. But I'm just going to try to help you out as much as I can. Anyways, follow this pathway south. You go around this winding corridor. And this part of the game is actually the uh, longest part of the game. It's just time consuming you have to find your way to the next boss uh, most of this game is just a sort of maze and then here you see the worst enemy in the entire fucking game it's these green bubbles whoever created this shit really pissed me off because those guys just are extremely annoying and if, if you see them you're best to just ignore them in my first video here of this walkthrough i'm just going to get the the tnt the vice grips uh, i'm going to get the potions the extra health there's four extra healths in this game, or well, two added to what you already have, and um, we'll get the invisible potion, and I'm just going to fight the first boss, that's all I can fit in 15 minutes, so, you go up this corridor, go across this bridge, the blue guys are relatively easy, um, they only take a couple hits with a fully powered gun that you see I have here, and then here comes some bubbles again. And my technique this time was to kill them, but most of the time I just try to avoid them, if you see me avoid them, See, he dropped cash, and he dropped the key. You need these things to open doors, and cash to buy health. Um, now, let's talk about, let's see, there's a blue whip. I mean, if you had the whip by now, it would power up your whip. And, you know, the, the gun has eight upgrades, I think, of ten upgrades, and the whip has four. So you can only pick up, you know, four of the blue things for it to become effective. You see me try to drop some TNT there to kill those guys. To me, these little downgrade items look like pink. I've been hearing people say they look red. Uh, I just think they're pink. I don't know. I hate these fucking bubbles. They're so annoying. They're literally the most annoying enemy I've ever seen in any game. But this game is um, quite like the, my last walk through Rygar. Um, it's not the same, but it has a lot of similar attributes. And um, it's actually a longer playthrough, though. Uh, Rygar is about, you know, 
three and a half hours in a sitting if you know what you're doing. Maybe an hour and a hour and a half if you really know what you're doing. Um, but this game, um, just to get prepared for the video, it takes a couple extra di days. But um, in general, I'd say this is like a two-day playthrough to figure out what you're doing. If you don't have like a walkthrough or anything. Maybe like a one day if you know exactly where you're going. Anyways, you're going to go up here and you're going to go up this ladder and that leads you to the next area. And then we will. Let's see, we're headed to get the potions and the potions first. We're just going to kill this guy and give up because he's too fucking hard to kill. I go left here. This is where you'll pick up the third item. It's the potion. Now the potions just bring your health back up to 100%. They come in very handy on the bad guys. I did want to mention that this game's weapon system, you see I'm going to equip a key here, go left all the way to the key, and then walk up to the door, and there you go, you get the potions. I did want to mention that the weapon system, the gun, is extremely useful, but it's not as strong as the whip. The whip is actually like three times as strong, I tested it on some enemies, see how many it took to kill. Now this type of enemies here you'll see are best to avoid, best to just run away from them if you can. That guy got me right there. So I get kind of pissed and I just start running. I'm going to go over to the hot dog stand and I'm going to get help. But you have to put money. You have to put money first. So Now one thing I did notice that was similar to the Rygar game was that you know how attack a sow uh, kills everything on the screen when you hit it? Well, that's the same thing as the noose, the weapon the noose. Now those guys shoot a slow. you got to use a vice grip. You just use a vice grip here. Very, if you're informative, it's very informative right here if you want to know how to play. It just shows you like seven things how to use them in the game, or three things how to use them in the game. But like Attack of Cell, like I was saying, Attack of Cell from Rygar, where it kills everything on the screen. Um, okay, this first area is a first person a area, and it's the area where you find your first extra health. There's actually no bad guy in here, but I'm going to take quite a few minutes to find that extra health. Uh, I suggest going to the internet or looking up a walkthrough to find the actual um, p position it's at because I don't know 100% how to get it. I just know it's in here. You know, you equip a key, you go in the room, and then you put in this first person mode, which was pretty cool for its day. I mean, and back in 1989, the year I was born, first person shooters or first person anything was really uh, relevant and um, cool. I guess you could say hip. But I'm not, you basically have to walk into a wall here, and I'm trying to find the wall you walk into. And I think I find it here in a minute. I was saying that Attack of Sal kills everything on the screen. Well, the noose item kills everything on the screen, too. So that's kind of similar. I tried to get that thought out. It took me a while. But um, I think I find it here in a minute. You just gotta find a wall and walk into it, I know that. And I play around with it, because this room is not very hard. It's not, there's not a lot of turns and stuff. Uh, if I knew it exactly, uh, it would have been a better for the walkthrough, but I didn't want to go through all that effort of memorizing which way to go. So, I think it's right here. There it is. And you see my health bar went up to three, and now I have three health, so that helps out a lot in some areas. But after you go in there, you go right, and you're going to go right, and you're going to go up here, and that's the, that staircase you see to the left is where you're going to want to go, but first you have to go get another item, I believe it's the Invincible Potion, um, and it's over here to the left, so you skip that, and you come back, and now these guys can see when you shoot, they jump, right, when they're not shooting, they're not jumping, they're following you, I think my tactic was to just keep shooting until they randomly run into my gun, like that, We'll skip that item because that's a whip power down. Even though I don't have the whip, I just I get in the habit of not picking those up. Equip a key, open this door, and you get the invisible potions from thing again. That little bugger can run fast. He gave you the potions at the last one. So. And you're not actually going to get the fourth health bar until you get uh, further into the game. It's actually not until like after the fourth boss. So you'll have to be stuck with three for quite some time kind of a bad thing about this game because it's really easy to die. Alright, now I'll put a bulb on. Actually, if I can figure out how to put a bulb on, there you go. 
the bad thing about this game is it's kind of easy to die. And you gotta know how to avoid the enemies, and it takes a, it's like a learning curve. It takes a while for you to understand how to not die, <laughs> how to skip through the stupid stuff. Here I use a potion because my health was pretty low, and this part's kind of hard to avoid enemies. Here I generally, I just, I, I go straight up, all the way to the top, and then I go right. I think this is another area you can find items too. I did never use that area. I just used the starting area. And then if I needed to get more items, I would go to the an area where there's the green bubbles and just try, sort of try, try to get them to respawn and kill them over and over again because they drop the most items. This area almost gets me and lose the health here. Look how much they try to trick me here. That was, that was hard. If you look back at that, that was kind of hard. Coming from both angles, you gotta stay in the middle and not go left or right. It's a little bit tricky. I think I'm headed to fight the first boss. Now the bosses themselves are not that difficult. The first three bosses aren't hard. Now the fourth boss is extremely hard. Here you'll see one of the for the first time one of these little mole guys, and then you'll see a snail. A snail is, is, is just a really slow moving thing. Apparently it's an evil snail. <laughs> There, I just use the TNT to blow them up, but they, if you, after you kill them, they release um, a, a green bubble. So not only do you have to kill a snail, you have to kill a green bubble too. But the first boss, um, and the third, second and third boss are rather, rather easy, comparatively speaking to the fourth boss, which takes, if you're not, if you haven't watched videos or tried to learn how to do it, or played it at least once, you're probably going to die the first time until you figure out how to beat him. Uh, he's the hardest boss in this game, harder than the last boss, I'd say. The uh, only thing that compares to him is the last level. So you go up the stairs, and voila, you're at the first boss area. Before you can go to the first boss, you have to go through a first person uh, thing again, which um, this area is quite simple. Go all the way down, left, all the way down, left, right, right, and then boom, you're here. Now the strategy on this guy is very simple. You stay in the middle and you just shoot him. And you move. And he moves. So I'm just gonna sit here and shoot, shoot, shoot. And I'm gonna move, move, move. I'm gonna go all the way to the right. I'm dropping TNT too to help damage him. It doesn't really do much, but I'm trying. And then when you get low on health, use a potion or, or use an invincible potion too if you want to try to hit him a lot. Back to the left, stand the screen, shoot some, and you're right in the middle, and you just kind of move with him. Move to the left, move to the right. And boom, he's dead. My first boss is very simple, and you'll see me sort of uh, go crazy because I beat him. <laughs> Uncle Fester's got a little, uh, got, got a little happy. That boss is really simple. You're going to go down these stairs, and I believe my first video will be coming to it and here shortly. I'm going to show you the next boss because I can't put 15 more than 15 minute videos up. So I'm just going to show you this, uh, how to get to the next area. You kill these green guys and then it's going to cut off and I'll pick up from there. But if you're watching, please comment, you know, please uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what you like, uh, uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video, that would really help too. Otherwise, um, I'm just going to show you how to get to the, the last, the next section nothing hard, it's just another little maze that you gotta go through. I hope this video was informative because I'm trying to get people to use this as a walkthrough so they can learn how to get to the game. So you skip this first one here and you go to the second right. Always remember the second right. These bad guys are extremely annoying. They look like little penis heads that come out of the ground. <laughs> They're stupid. Alright, so you go down here, and these jumper things are going to get on in your way. You're going to go south, and then you're going to go straight, uh, straight north again. And once you go north, you're going to go right, and that's going to lead you to the next area, and that's when we're going to end the video. So, um, thanks for watching, and um, like I said, comment, uh, please like if you like the video too, hit the little thumbs up button, that'd be cool. for the views.